All right, I've been getting requests on pictures or how they want to see picture. Basically, it's like they know about the camera, but how is the picture? Is it any good? And I want to show you. This is the uh, 16 lens that this camera have, but it does not use all 16 lens uh, simultaneously to take your picture. What it does is um, out of that 16 lens, only 10 lens, up to 10 lens max are used to compose that picture. But what you what you see here is usually it's only a thumbnail of using one lens. That's why if I look at these thumbnail when I take a picture, it does not look like it's a good picture. Sometimes it look really um, well. Actually, most of the time it look it does, it does not look sharp. So that's why um, lights say what you see here is not it's not the true picture until you export it out. That's what I, I don't like about it. Um, you feel like did I take a clear picture? I'm really not sure. And when you um, let's say you touch onto a picture, and you want to share this with your friend right away, right? So you get to touch it, and you can t what you get to share. But to save battery power, this picture you see here is a thumbnail that only using generate by one lens, so it's not good. But to make it like decent, then you hit this develop button over here. What it does is it will compose that 10 lens down to 5 lens so it can use 5 lens to generate this picture so now this picture is supposedly is better it's, it's processed you get the option to share it now uh, but with Android I know I was able to share the Bluetooth straight to the phone when you, I get it right away on my brother's Android phone however to my iPhone iPhone don't accept Bluetooth picture transfer so it always fails so unless there's a software update it only accept AirDrop right now so light needs to update something, or you have to do USB, um, but then that defeats the purpose of on the go. Um, but yeah, so that's, and then once you bring it up and you export it out to your computer, you use their software called Lumen, and it's still in beta here. This software is not about um, editing lights and colors or anything. It is mainly for um, a depth effect and pretty much blending the lens together. It's a very basic uh, software which I don't think is that great but um, I want to show you what it looked like over here. Alright so this is how it looked right here. So when you take a picture that what you see on the uh, LCD here is just a thumbnail. Uses, it's generated by one lens so that's about 400 and KB and then um, when you hit the develop button that will process down to five lens and the pictures that you can share right from the camera is um, about 3 meg and then you can have a export to a full resolution using Lumen and that's about 20 megs now there's also an option to export out to um, to 3 meg, 3 meg here and that is good for social media too and that is uh, equal to 1 MB you also can do a DNG which is like those DSLR or both you can do 8 meg for printing and 13 meg if you highlight over here it'll tell you what it, what it does and for but pretty much this is all done through lumen um, for example this picture is um, it'll, it'll tell you all the spec when you take the picture all the detail info and um, but look at the resolution and look how big the file size are so so this picture, if you look at it, I can zoom, or I can I can do a full screen. See, hold on, you can zoom real fast, and it still looks sharp. See, you won't notice there was a burnness <laughs> inside the sign earlier, right? Let me go back up. See, so that's how the picture looked without any touch up on um, coloring. So after you e finish editing in Lumen. You can throw this picture into Photoshop, Lightroom, and do your other editing. Um, but uh, that's what I want to show you on this. Uh, here, one last thing before I end this video. I don't want to drag it out too long, but just want to give you guys a better understanding how this thing works. Uh, let's see. You're browsing to the camera. Now I can look in here. Uh, see, in here, these files are 160. Um, it's 162 MB. Is, is a really big file um, but the, then the thumbnail picture that you see or when you process I mean when you pro when you develop it it's 5 megs that you see but when you don't the thumbnail is only 400 and something 
but yeah so you get two versions you get a thumbnail and you get a um, their special LRI file for Lumen now if you develop in the camera then you have an extra file which is the um, the 4 meg file but if not you only have two files but yeah but this is how this camera is working so far Oh, before I forget, I'm gonna take more pictures of random things or ideas of stuff so you get to have um, different samples. But I also will take pictures of people. And right now, I'm not sure I'm gonna upload it to either my uh, Dropbox or Google Drive. But a uh, link will be in the description. That way, you get to download the picture and examine it yourself to see the quality. Uh, these pictures will not be edited um, color wise or brightness or anything like that. I'm just gonna use Lumen because I have to use Lumen to export it out. And uh, at most, is just gonna depth of field to make sure um, you guys are seeing a clear picture but unedited in any other way. Alright, thank you for watching.